Join me in our friends and celebrate the brotherhood we share. All as one, keep the fire burning, kindle it with care. Learn we all join in and sing. Here we are, all together as we sing our song, joyfully, here we are, all together as we pray, we'll always be. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, you are most welcome to Eucharistic celebration this morning. And this Mass, Betikaija give thanks to God for the gift of life of her son and her life as they celebrate their birthdays within this month, as is today, and for Ivan Asimwe, is on the 15th of January 2021. They ask for more gifts in their lives. Today we are celebrating the memorial of two great men, Titus and Timothy, the companions of St. Paul on his missionary journeys, at the same time that they were bishops. Let us pray in a special way that as they collaborated very well as a team in bringing about the kingdom of God, that we too may always strive to work together with our brothers and sisters in bringing about the kingdom of God. Let us confess those sins which are associated with the lack of teamwork. Why I find that I, I don't like to work as a team, I ask God's mercy and pardon, so that we may be people who really have a team spirit in our different works and works. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my faults, through my faults, through my most grievous faults. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to, to pray, pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who adorned saints Timothy and Titus with apostolic virtues, grant through the intercession of them both that living justly and devoted in this present age, we may merit to reach our heavenly homeland through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to Titus. Paul, a servant of God and an apostle of Jesus Christ, to further the faith of God's elect and their knowledge of the truth 
which accords with godliness, in hope of eternal life, which God, who never lies, promised ages ago, and at the proper time manifested in his word through the preaching with which I have been entrusted by command of God our Savior. To Titus, my true child in a common faith, grace and peace from God the Father and Christ Jesus our Savior. This is why I left you in Crete, that you might amend what was defective and appoint elders in every town as I directed you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Tell among all the peoples the wonders of the Lord. Tell among all the peoples the wonders of the Lord. Oh, sing a new song to the Lord. Sing to the Lord all the earth. Oh, sing to the Lord. Bless his name. Tell all the wonders of the Lord. Proclaim his salvation day by day. Tell among the nations his glory and his wonders among all the peoples. Tell all the wonders the Lord has Give the Lord you families of peoples. Give the Lord glory and power. Give the Lord the glory of his name. Tell all the wonders of the Say to the nations, the Lord is king. The world he made firm in its place. He will judge the peoples in fairness. Tell all the wonders of the Lord. May we stand up for gospel acclamation. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory. After this, the Lord chose another 72 men and sent them out two by two to go ahead of him every town and place where he himself was about to go. He said to them, there is a large harvest, but few workers to gather in need. Pray to the owner of the harvest that he will send out workers to gather in his harvest. Go, I'm sending you like lambs among wolves. Don't take a purse or beggar's bag or shoes. Don't stop to greet anyone on the road. Whenever you go into the house, first say, Peace be with this house. If a peace-loving person lives there, let your greeting of peace remain on him. If not, take back your greeting of peace. Stay in that house, eating and drinking whatever they offer you, for workers should be given their pay. Don't move around from one house to another. Whenever you go into a town and are made welcome, Eat what is set before you. Heal the sick in that town and say to the people there, the kingdom of God 
has come near you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. My brothers and sisters, as we celebrate the memorial of Saints Titus and Timothy, hearing from the readings, we are really celebrating the spirit of teamwork. Teamwork which does not come out of the blue, but which we begins with the Trinity, that God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, they are one. And yet the way God revealed himself, he revealed himself uh, in different ways through the three persons. You know, you have the creation work, the creating work, mostly attributed to, to God the Father, but we know the Son, the Word was there, the Spirit was there. We have the saving work, the saving mission of God, mostly attributed to His Son, Jesus Christ, but all of them were there, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And we have uh, the Holy Spirit then, when Jesus leaves, He sent the Holy Spirit as our helper, as our companion, as our guide. But yet Jesus Christ says, I will be with you until the end of the world. So the three always worked together, and that's why the great mission of God has been uh, accomplished. Jesus Christ learned this, and that's why at first he called the 11 to be with him, and today he has called the 72 to go out in the villages, proclaim that the kingdom of God is near by wishing people peace. Peace is one of the, you know, the elements of the kingdom of God. That when we live in peace in our homes, in our communities, then the kingdom of God is there. Peace, let us pray for, in a special way for peace in our hearts, in our families, and in our homes. St. Paul also took up the same spirit from Jesus Christ, and he has had to do over three missionary journeys, very long journeys in different places, as you know, that time transport was so hard, and he really did a lot. It's enough to read all the letters of St. Paul, and you get in touch. You get in touch of how much work he had to do, and he could not do all this without his collaborators. So he realizes that the matcha is very strong. Paul was very zealous, a zealous person, very determined, high-spirited, and even a very strong man. But he could not do all this without collaborators. He realized that he needed people around to work with him. And choosing Titus and Timothy, working together, and even empowering them to be bishops, uh, he was able to achieve a lot. So there is a lot we can learn from the Trinity a lot we can learn from Jesus Christ's way of working, the methodology of working with other people. You know, the spirit of teamwork, that we can achieve a lot. And we can learn a lot from St. Paul still, you know, this sense of spirit of teamwork. That myself, you know, alone, I cannot do much. But once I work with other people, we can achieve a lot. I may be so knowledgeable, I may be so healthy that I have no bodily problems, but alone I cannot do a lot. Maybe some of us are not achieving a lot because we think everything depends on us, that we are the ones who can save the whole world. We are the ones who can do everything. No. Even Jesus Christ, the Son of God, realized that he cannot. He chose others. St. Paul has taught us, let us learn to work with people. Let us learn to delegate. Paul could not do all this work at the same time being a bishop to all the churches. Titus had to be a bishop and Timothy had to be a bishop in some churches. We cannot do it all. Even if we pretend to be so strong, so knowledgeable, but we are human beings. Even the Son of God chose others. So let us pray in a special way that wherever we find ourselves, in our homes, at our places of work, let us remember to work with others. Let us remember to delegate others. Let us remember that the work of saving this world, we are not the saviors. We are not the saviors, but together we collaborate in the mission of Jesus Christ.
Lord, we come into your house as we gather in your name. It's a privilege to be here. We're so very glad we came. We can sense your holy presence and the warmth of your embrace. As we lift our hearts in worship, you bring the sacrifice of praise. We bring the sacrifice of praise into the house of the Sacrifice of praise into the house of the Lord as we offer, as we offer up to you the sacrifices of thanksgiving as we offer up to you the sacrifices of joy. Pray, my brothers and sisters, my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. The sacrifice at your hand for, for the, the praise, praise and the glory of his name. For our good and the good of all this holy church. Receive, O Lord, we pray the offerings of your people, which we bring in celebration of saints, Timos and Tang from it. For this I saw my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which is poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Your death, O oh Lord. To profess your resurrection. Until you come again. Therefore, we celebrate the more of the death and resurrection. We offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have heard us why to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that by the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. And bring out the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Cyprian, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember our brothers and sisters who are falling asleep in the hope of the resurrection, especially all those whose death anniversary occurred today, and for all those that have offered this mercy in a special way, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, all we pray. That with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, we send Titus, Timothy, Saint Daniel Kumbon, Bakita, the Uganda Matters, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all grand honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed, hallowed be your name. Your, your kingdom come. come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Wish us a grand peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. 
Behold the Lamb of God, but him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not no, worthy so that you should enter under my roof. But only say a word, and, and my soul, soul shall be. May the blood and blood of Christ keep us safe and bring us to eternal life. Amen.
Let us pray. May the sacrament we have received, O Lord our God, nourish in us that faith taught by the preaching of the apostles and kept safe by the labors of Saints Timothy and Titus through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Yes, May the Almighty God bless you. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us go to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Have a blessed day. Same to you. Marching united in Christ, marching together to heaven. Marching united in Christ, marching together to heaven. God, our Creator, and Father.